Saviero Murgia. It's going to be tough to choose. Represents Horus technology. It is mysterious because they make the invisible made audible. Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. So the story I'm going to share with you began from one single question. And I want to begin the presentation with a question for you. Can you tell me how many blind people did you meet while coming here today? If any, please raise your hand. This may trick you into thinking that there are not so many blind people out there. But that's just not true. There are over 285 million blind people, vision impaired people, of whom 40 million are blind. And in the US, that figure is 8.7% of all uh, adults older than 16 years old. The reason why you don't see them on the streets is because the, the world is not actually designed to be accessible to sensory disabled people. And I got to know about all this two years ago, in 2014, while I was working as a computer vision engineer at the University of Genova. I was stopped by a stranger, a blind person, who needed help to get to the bus, on the, to the bus stop. And that made me reflect on all the difficulties and all the things that wouldn't be possible if I were blind. That's when I decided I could use my skills and knowledge to create something to change their life forever. Please let me introduce you to Horrors. It is a wearable personal assistant for blind and visually impaired people. It features stereo cameras, an NVIDIA GPU, and a bone conduction transducer to translate visual information into audible feedback. It can read text, it can caption scenes, it can recognize friends, it can avoid, help you avoid obstacles and recognize objects. The only thing the user has to do is wear it, switch it on, pick from an audible menu the functionality they want to run, and then wait for the audible feedback. For example, if the user were to wait for a friend at a coffee shop, they would have to ask the, the device to tell them when a friend is approaching. And Oros would do just that. On the market currently, there are a lot of tools for blind people. There are canes, magnifiers, scanners, and all of them are really, really good at the only thing they do. There is nothing that can help them throughout the whole day. The thing that comes the closest to our product is something that asks you to point your finger at the object you want to get some information about. And if you're completely blind, you cannot do that. We are not yet on the market. We expect to hit the market by the end of the year. But we are on trial phase with some orga non-profit organization who bought eight of our prototypes. And every day, we receive many, many inquiries from people who are willing to try the product and who are eager to get it on their hands. The market is pretty big. But yet, we are conservative on the estimates of the sales that we're going to make. Yet, this is going to make us profitable. Our business model is based on the sale of the device, and then we will support it like any smartphone manufacturer does. This is not, in fact, a medical device. It's a consumer electronic device. We will hit the market in Europe, starting from Italy and UK first, and then we will reach the uh, United States and the rest of Europe by the end of next year. The people behind this are me and Luca, two co-founders, both computer vision engineers with different skills, who felt the urge to do something for this situation. And since then, we have built an all-star team of computer vision engineers, machine learning engineers, and product designers to build the best experience ever for a, for a group of disabled people who unfortunately cannot take advantage of all the things that are in the cities. And I want to leave you with one thought. Yesterday morning, Mark Zuckerberg announced a new functionality in Facebook that allows any picture to be captioned and making, effectively, Facebook more accessible. What we are doing is doing the same for the world. We are making the world more accessible. Thanks.